During a Thursday meeting at the White House with lawmakers about immigration, U.S. President Donald Trump allegedly made vulgar remarks while referring to immigrants from Haiti, El Salvador, and African nations. Trump now denies saying the crude word, but admits he used, quote, tough language. On Twitter, he wrote, never said anything derogatory about Haitians other than Haiti is, obviously, a very poor and troubled country. Never said take them out, made up by Dems. I have a wonderful relationship with Haitians, probably should record future meetings, unfortunately, no trust. Democratic Senator Dick Durbin was in the room and says Trump did use the vulgar term. I think back of presidents throughout history, and I cannot imagine a moment where a president sunk to that depth. That's what breaks my heart. Strong condemnation of the remarks is pouring in from around the world. I'm sorry, but there's no other word one can use but racist. Uh, you cannot dismiss entire countries and continents as <clears throat> whose entire populations who are not white uh, are therefore not welcome. The Haitian government has summoned the U.S. ambassador to explain the comments and requested an apology. South Africa's ruling party has called the language, quote, extremely offensive, and a spokeswoman for the African Union says, given the historical reality of how many Africans arrived in the United States as slaves, this statement flies in the face of all accepted behavior and practice. And it's not just government officials reacting. People in the countries Trump cited are expressing outrage. We call for him to immediately apologize and retract his racist statement about this continent. Amid the controversy, the White House is trying to strike a deal on immigration that would allow people who came to the United States illegally as children, the so-called dreamers, to remain in the U.S. But the president wants concessions from the Democrats, including funding for a border wall and decreased immigration from some of the countries the president was referring to when he used that vulgar term. This controversy is not likely to make those negotiations any easier. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.